Hey everybody, it's Lokes the 97. Welcome back to more Super Mario 3D World. Last time I got so stuckies at that flippity boo place. This episode we're gonna start with Searchlight Sneak. Almost done with World 5. World 5 has taken forever. Okay, this level. Reminds me so much of uh, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. It's not even funny. So we have these little spotlights, okay? And I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh, well, what's the big idea? I to <laughs> yeah, so that's the basic gimmick of this level. I hope I hurt your ears. So we don't want to get hit by the spotlight. If you do, we just throw some bullet bills. It's not like it's a ginormous deal, you know? Um... But yeah, just be aware that that can happen. I'm actually curious if I can go through this level without setting one of those off. So we're going to need this. We have a a companion spring here of sorts. Ugh. Companion spring. Screw rubber offs. Oh, damn. Well, I didn't make it. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try... I go through here without setting off a light. Oh, kitty, no, 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 you can't be on the mic. Oh, God. My cat tried to climb on top of the desk, and I don't know if you heard him. I, I guess I'll find out in the recording. But he tried to get on the desk, and uh, he, like, sniffed the microphone. Damn it all, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it, I'm running away. Whoa. Okay, alright, what's this? We need this for something. That I do know. Whoa, maybe we don't. Or wait, yeah we do. We're gonna need both, maybe? Yes, 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 yes. So we didn't really need, we only needed one, but whatever. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's impossible. Damn near impossible to not set off any spotlights in this level. But it made a funny joke, so that's cool. <laughs> Alright, get our checkpoint. And get out of here. Hi, kitty, I see you. Yes, kitty. Yes, yes, yes. No, oh, damn you, kitty. I'm blaming my cat for that one. He's, he's being snuggly today. Uh, when is he not snuggly, though? Like, let's be honest here. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I suck at game. Alright, what's back here? Oh, this is how you're meant to hide from it. Oh, well, that's clever. Okay, well, I like that, actually, a lot. That's really, really cool. But I need... Oh, wait, I didn't get hit. Cool. Oh, and now I need it. And now, wouldn't you know it, so it looks like I couldn't even do my challenge anyway because I freaking need to get a bullet bill over here. Ugh, almost got hit. Jeez. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? Whoa! Holy crap! That was scary. Alright, we have green star number two, and we have the stamp. So, I am just ignoring that additional- oh god. Okay, come on, I need another one of you. I need another one of you! Thank you. Don't kill me. I don't want to die. Screw it, I'm just running past all these freaking- Well, they look really cool in the shadow. That was dope. Okay, we have all the green stars, we have 100% in the slow right now. All we have to do is get the top of the leg. Boom, got it. And we get- Oh, we get a toad stamp! Well, how fitting for this level. Okay. It's time for the castle. But holy frick. First, let's go gamble. Gambling, gambling, gamble. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Of course I went on the frickin' cherry one. 
That shit is perfect. Of course I win on the cherry slot machine. Oh my god, that's just brilliant right there. Okay, let's finally get into the castle. This has been like the longest world ever. It's been like four videos. Okay, King Kasung's Castle. So I was actually wrong a few videos ago when I said like, uh, oh yeah, this is the only, in the first Bowser Castle, I was like, this is the only Bowser Castle you're going to see. All the rest of it's going to be uh, all, all trains. No, that's not true at all. Alright, so this level, the gimmick here is these little square platforms that will kill you. And I'm probably going to die because, well, I'm only micro toad. And, oh, not for long. Haha. <laughs> okay. So, yes. The gimmick here are these. Alright? Don't get hit by those because they're a big ouchie. We have some football players that are also big ouchies. As you just saw, I demonstrated. But nothing really else right there. Okay. Alright. So, whoa! Good golly gumdrops, that was rough. <laughs> Good golly gumdrops, what? Alright, so this actually kind of gives me something to talk about. I am a silly goose, okay? And I did not do all of my research on this game. I thought I did, but there was a lot more that I actually found today, okay? Super Mario 3D World has gone through more changes than like any game ever okay and I'm sure all of you hardcore fans out there already know this oh crap fuck me ah oh, well damn it to hell kill your hell I'm sure all of you hardcore fans out there already know about all the changes but yeah there's a lot of changes between the Wii U version and the Switch version. If you didn't already know, yes, I'm playing the Wii U version, or the Switch version. Yes, I am playing the Switch version. But yeah, there's a ton of changes in the, in the, between the two, like, versions of the game. Holy crap. It's insane how many changes this freaking game went through. And honestly, I'm pretty sure all of them are for the better. One of the big ones that I want to talk about, uh, I'll talk about more like as the series goes on, but one of the big ones are the Samps. The Samps used to, like, you used to be able to use them like as part of Miiverse in the, uh, in that thing. Oh, crap, crap. Yeah, they used to be like for a part of Miiverse. Like, you could design them like with your Miis or whatever, you know, really, really cool. But then, with the uh, launched the Switch, the Miiverse was discontinued. So, you're probably thinking like, well, what the heck is the meaning of the stamps in this game then? Since, you know, no more Miiverse. They actually did something really, really cool that I think they got from Super Mario Odyssey, I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, all of the- there's our stamps, speak of the devil. All of the stamps now? are used for like snapshot mode which is really really fun i'm going to be using it eventually i just need to i want to get more stamps first before we uh jump into snapshot mode just because like i don't know i want to show you guys in the coolest freaking way possible which you know is when we have more stamps obviously okay all right Hard to believe that this is a castle stage, isn't it? This also reminds me of uh, a level in Super Mario Galaxy. It's the uh, Clock Tower Ruin level, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, now we have a boss. This lovely little trickster guy. He is like my favorite boss ever. This is King Kathunk. So, quite an interesting name. He's gonna expose a vulnerable spot on his back whenever he turns over. Your job, as you guessed it, is to hit that vulnerable spot. Then, when he uh, falls, he's going to make two spots of the floor disappear. Pretty simple boss, actually. This this one is uh, really, really easy. <laughs> oh, crap. I still got him. Ba-boom. Goodbye. You were a good king, but, you know, you died. 
so not such a strong one, I guess. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get our plus hondo sec- Whoa, don't grab pound toad, silly, silly boy. And oh my god, it's a purple fairy in need of help, let's go get it. Alright, come on. Oh my! I am not doing this again. So, let's go get that top. Okay. That's adorable. <laughs> Toad in his cat uniform. Oh, and we get a football player for a stamp. How lovely. Okay, King Thunk has been defeated. Finally, we're done with World 5. I didn't think it was ever going to end. <laughs> Holy crap. Next time on Super Mario 3D World, things are going to get a lot harder. See you guys then.